Hello, Bill Hayes again. Well, guys, I have been asked to show what I would use instead of a PFS because I'm not very good with a PFS and I do have the scars to prove it. But anyway, uh, PFS is a nice design that some people are very, very expert with and more power to them, but I'm not going to use this, this design anymore myself because I have an alternative which to me works much, much better. And that is basically a compressed ranger design. And we can call it the Micro Hunter or Micro Ranger if you prefer. And anyway, this design here allows you to uh, wrap your finger, your long finger, around the, the uh, wasp waist of it. And your uh, finger and thumb grip roots here. Or you can use a hammer grip if you prefer. You can go uh, with the forks up or to the side. But because your fingers are consistent in their placement, that means that the forks will stay the same distance above your hand and makes it a lot safer. This, as you see, is the original design for the PFS, and this, uh, what eventually happens is when you're shooting it, you're pulling it further and further, and you take your eyes off your fork to, 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 shoot, your, to shoot your target, and your focus changes, and you end up hitting yourself in the hand or, or uh, hitting the forks or something like that, and that's what happens to me a lot. And, and anyway, that's, that's a, it's good for some, but not for me. Yeah, but the Micro Ranger is a whole different story. The Micro Ranger has a decent fork gap in here, so it's forgiving if you make mistakes, and I do make them. And it is, uh, so long as you uh, set it up with a uh, trough, uh, so that your trough of your uh, bands goes above the forks instead of into the forks, you almost, you'll, you'll never get a fork yet. And what I mean by that is, this is the, this is the trough here. So you pinch your uh, pouch together here, and it forms a trough like this like a feeding trough. Well, as you see, that, that trough goes above the forks. If it were different, they were like this, that means the fork, the trough is aiming down into the forks, which also means that you're going to have that, uh, uh, more likely you'll get a fork hit and stuff like that. Anyway, I don't need to twist and turn or tweak or anything like that, the pouch. As long as I have the trough is on top, it'll work perfect. Now, I also have heard that a lot of people say that these small slingshots are not capable of very good accuracy. True, I do like a larger slingshot myself, and I am much better with one. But I think I can pull off the same accuracy, or at least uh, decent accuracy, using a small slingshot as well. And to prove that, I'm going to step off about 10 meters and shoot these two matches right here. See what we can do to them. Oh, and one other thing. I'm going to be using 916 lead, not some small ammo. And this is nice, big, and heavy. These are .040 uh, bands on here, so it's going to be plenty of power as well. I think I got a bracket in and see if I can bring it right into that last match standing and see if we can light it. Oh, a little too much. But anyway, as you see, you can pull out some decent accuracy with these type of slingshots, these little ones. True, I did chop the matches instead of light them. And if it was a larger slingshot, I probably would have been able to uh, get a lot closer to lighting them anyway. Anyway, that's the difference between the uh, what I prefer the micro ranger type thing as compared to a PFS. A PFS, I would be lucky to get anywhere in this neighborhood. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching and y'all have a good day.